gosh. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Kavi. Hey, Kavi. Where have you been? Oh, I stayed behind in choir class to practice my solo. Did the teacher ask you to? Of course she did. You guys were there. Sorry, I guess we forgot. How can you forget? I'm the star of the concert. The star? Yeah. What do you mean by the star? Oh, come on. Without my solo, we wouldn't have a Christmas concert. You really think so? I know so. Well, that's good. Of course it's good. I'm the soloist. Yeah, we know. Well, you don't have to be so bitter about it. We're not being bitter about anything. Good. Maybe you can come over to my house so we could, and you can help me practice. Uh, we have our own plans. Yeah, plans that don't involve me. What are they? Nothing. Just, um, maybe you should go home. Why do you want me to go home? I thought we were going to the mall. Um, we forgot. We have a big test tomorrow. Teacher never said anything about a test. But we want to study anyway to get our grades up. Okay. Maybe I could study with you. Thanks, but you have more important things to do. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Okay, fine. If yeah, You guys are acting really weird, but whatever. I'll go home. Oh my gosh, thank goodness she is gone. I know. I can't believe how show offy she is. Tell me about it. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. How was rehearsal? Oh, it was great. Teacher really, teacher said I'm really getting good at my solo. That's nice, honey. I thought you were going to the mall with your friends. They suddenly had other plans. Oh, well, I'm glad you came home. Yeah, me too. I mean, I could practice my solo. Maybe I could practice for you. Honey, you practiced for me a million times. I don't want to get tired of your solo before your concert. You could never get tired of my solo. I sing it better each time. Well, I'm glad that you have a lot of confidence in you. Well, I'm going to go in my room and practice. What about your homework? I'll get to it later. No, you'll get to it now. Ugh, fine. Hey, Luciana. Hey. How's rehearsal? I rocked again. You rocked? What do you mean by that? I did so well. No offense, but that's what you said. That's what you said after your last rehearsal. Yeah, but I did even better. Oh my gosh, by the time the concert comes, I will be so good. You won't even recognize me. You'll be proud to be my sister. Yeah. Well, anyway, um... M Mom's trying to make me do my homework. Well, then why are you talking to me? Do your homework and get it done. I can't. Mom doesn't realize how important this solo is to me. We all realize how important this solo is to you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. <sighs> Where are you going? Gonna go watch TV with Mom. My homework is done. Mm hmm <laughs> Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Can I talk to you? Sure. What's going on? Did you do your homework? Yeah, my homework's done. Is your sister doing her homework? I guess. I mean, I told her to. What do you need to talk to me about? It's about Kavi. Well, what about her? Mom, she's become impossible to live with. Honey, she's just excited about her solo. Mom, it's gone all it's gone all to her head. She's her attitude stinks. I mean she just listen. I know that Kavi could be a little too much of she is way too much this time. I mean all Kavi talks about is that stupid solo. Well honey, if you had a solo, wouldn't you be excited? Being excited is one thing. Being stuck up is a completely different thing. Luciana, Mom, honey, I don't think 
coffee means to be conceited. I know, but you don't have to share a room with her. You're not with her 24 hours a day. Now, Luciana, you're being, you're over-exaggerating. Then I'm over-exaggerating. It's just how I feel. All right. I'm going to go talk to your sister. Please do, because she's really getting on my nerves. Ben. Hi. Can we talk? Yeah. Anything to let me have a break from this paper I'm writing. What's up? Honey, your sister and I are very concerned about you. Why? Honey, your sister complained to me about your attitude. What about my attitude? Well, you become rude to you, you become rude to us. I have not. Honey, you have been boasting and bragging for the past few weeks. About what? I don't know. You tell me. What do you mean by that? Sweetie, your sister and I are both very proud of you for getting your soul. You should be proud. Right. And we are. But we're not proud of your attitude. I don't have an attitude. I'm just really excited. There's a difference between being excited and being boastful. And you're being boastful. Mom, I'm just excited for the concert. Honey, I'm glad you're excited. But you let the solo go go to your head. I don't know what you're talking about, Mom. Listen. I'm not trying to discourage you. But nobody is perfect and you're not perfect. Gee, thanks a lot. Some mother you are. Honey, you know what I meant. Nobody is perfect. You have to realize it. So what do you want me to do? Tell myself I'm going to make a mistake at the concert? No, that's not what I'm telling you at all. I'm telling you that just because you have a solo doesn't mean you could be rude to, your, to us. You're just jealous. I'm not being rude to anybody. I'm just excited for my solo. And if you don't know that, then you obviously don't know me. Think about it. Whatever. Ugh, he must have fallen asleep. Why can't I get out of bed? Why can't I get out of bed? Mom! Mom! What is it? Mom, I can't get out of bed. What do you mean you can't get out of bed? I can't even sit up. What's going on? I have a solo to practice for. Are you sure you can't get out of bed? Of course I'm sure. I wouldn't make this up. Well, maybe... Maybe if you had a little more upper body strength. Mom, I can't. Then I guess there's no other reason. What do you mean there's no other reason? You, your head has swelled so much that you can't get out of bed. It's too heavy. Mom, that's not funny. I'm not laughing. It's, it's true. But mom, come on, you gotta help me. Call a doctor or something. Doctor can't help you. You have to realize that just because you have a solo doesn't mean you're any better or worse than anybody else. But the teacher said I was better at the solo. But now I can't even get out of bed. Well, maybe that's gonna teach you, teach you not to brag so much. I gotta go. Mom! 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 Come in. 
Honey, I heard you yelling. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just had a bad dream. Do you want to talk about it? Mom, you really think I'm letting this solo thing get into my head, aren't you? I really think... I really think you are, honey. Mom, I realized that... I was wrong to keep bragging about my solo. You're right, I let it go to my head. I mean, what if my head swells so much I can't get out of bed? What are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. Um, the point is, is that... You were right. I was rude to you and Luciana. I was even rude to my friends. I didn't mean to be. I'm just so excited. Honey, I'm glad that you're excited. But I want you to learn how to be excited without hurting the people you love. I don't know if I can do that. You'll figure it out. You go get washed up for dinner. Mom? Can you keep my plate plate warm in the oven? I have something to fix. Do you need to fix it now? Yes. All right, I'll keep your plate in the oven to, to keep it warm. But what do you have to do? I have some apologies to make. <sighs> Coming! Coffee, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Why? Look, I really do need to talk to you. Why do you want to talk to us? Shouldn't you be... What do you mean, us? Cheyenne, who's at the door? Kave. Hey, can I not talk to you guys? Why do you want to talk to us? Yeah, don't you have a solo to practice for? <sighs> Listen, I want to apologize. Apologize? Yeah, I know it's lame, but I'm really sorry for the way I was acting. I was acting like a total jerk. Yeah, you were. Guess I deserve that. But I really am sorry. I didn't mean to say such hurtful things. I was just so excited about my solo and... I don't know. I guess I let it get into get, all, get it all into my head. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Look, um... If you want, I can talk to... The choir director, and I could ask her to give you guys a soul. We couldn't ask you to do that. Yeah. Why not? You guys sing as bad, as nice as I do. Maybe even more. Javi, this isn't about a solo. At least not entirely. Well, then what are you mad about? We're mad about your attitude. Yeah. I mean, we're glad that you're excited about having a solo, but can't you do it without being mean? Look, I'm working on it. You're working on it? You have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I know you're right. Look, um... I want to make it up to you. How are you going to do that? Yeah, it's going to take a lot to make, to make up to us. How about the three of us go to pizza tomorrow after school? My treat. What's the catch? Yeah. No catch. Can we be friends again? We were never not friends. Yeah, we were just mad at you. Yeah, Kavi, you're way too cool not to be friends with I know. Thank you. You guys aren't, aren't half bad yourselves. Well, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Look, I gotta get home for dinner, but are things okay between us now? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but the real test will come will happen when we go to choir rehearsal tomorrow. I know. Oh, look, I really gotta go. Um, can I call you guys tonight? Sure, yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Do you think she's gonna change? I hope so. Mom? Lucia? Hey! Hey. Where's Mom? She went to the store to pick up a few things. What's up? I have something to tell you. What? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. No, I heard what you said. What I mean is, what are you sorry for? 
Oh, come on, Luciana. Come on what? <sighs> I'm sorry for the way I've been acting. The way you were acting? Okay, Luciana, now I know you're trying to torture me. <laughs> you're like, look, I'm sorry about the way I was acting about my solo. I acted like a total jerk, and I'd like you to forgive me. Wait a second, are you actually apologizing? Yeah. I was wrong to treat you, Mom, and my friends the way I did, and I'm really sorry. Look, Kavi, Mom and I, and maybe even your friends, we're happy that you're so confident. I know, but I guess I overdo it sometimes. Well, lately you've been overdoing it, yeah. I really am sorry. I forgive you. Is that where you went? Huh? Did you go and apologize to your friends? Yeah, I just got back from apologizing to them. You're back pretty soon. That's because I had the best friends in the world. They forgave me right away. I didn't have to beg them to. You're right. You are lucky to have the friends you have. So is my dinner in the oven? Yeah. Do you want me to keep you company while you eat? Um, yeah. But I don't want to eat until until Mom gets home so I can apologize to her. But Mom's going to be gone for a while. And I don't want your dinner to get too dry. Okay. I'll come and eat. Come on, I'll keep you company. What you doing? Just surfing. So you really do forgive me, Luciana? You asked me that a million times. I forgive you. Do you want me not to forgive you? Of course not. I'm girls. I'm home. Well, I guess I should go and apologize to mom. Do you want to come and listen? <laughs> no, that's okay. I'll pass. I trust you. <laughs> Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. How did things go with you and your friends? Great. But I'm going to need 20 bucks to take them for pizza. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Um, but how did it go with your friends? I told you it went great. I know, honey, but what happened? Well, I told them that I was sorry for being such a jerk and sorry for make, trying to make them feel bad and... Did they forgive you? Yeah. But, I, but I'm but i serious when I said I need the money to get them pizza. I'll pay you back. Honey, you already pay me back. What are you talking about? You realized you were wrong. And that's worth more than any amount of money. Really? Mm-hmm. Why don't you go and get ready for bed? I'll give you the money tomorrow morning. Okay. Good night, Mom. Good night. Love you. Bye. Good night. Good night.